world. Okay, so today, um, what we are going to take away from today's training is the introduction to Wiki, Wiki Media Commons. We are going to learn the importance of why or why we should upload images on Commons. We are also going to have a hands-on um, experience on uploading the images ourselves so that they will remember and be able to continue this exercise. We are also going to have a hands-on training on uploading videos on Wikimedia Commons, as well as your questions will be welcomed. We'll have um, trainers and mentors standing by to answer your questions as well. Am I going, for, if I'm going fast, you can prompt me. So we are looking at the characteristics of Wikimedia Commons, okay? So we are saying that all files on Wikimedia Commons can be used and disseminated free of charge in accordance with the terms of license, also for commercial purpose. So that's simply saying that um, any photo you use on or you upload on Wikipedia can be used for free, okay? That's free license. Anyone in the world can actually have access to to this. And we're also saying that um, there are various kinds of licenses that are used under Wikimedia Commons. And um, when you look at it, one of the most popular ones under the free license is the CCBY essay, which is provided by the Creative Commons. And then um, with time, we'll have to organize another session for Creative Commons, okay, where we'll learn more about um, the rights of photos and all of that as well. Unless um, I can get Jesse, Jesse, if you're on, Jesse can show more light on this, if, if on the Creative Commons as well. And um, we're also saying that um, it is a Wikimedia project, okay? So Wiki Commons is simply, let me just say that, you know, people are writing articles or we volunteers are writing articles about people, about places, and all of that. Okay, so we write articles and we need images to support these um, articles that are being written and that are being edited day in, day out. As you may not just go and write something, you may not, it's not everyone that can understand it better, okay, because some languages in there could be technical languages, but once you see the image, it makes it very easy and very relatable, okay, to it. So that is the main purpose for Wiki Commons. And we're looking at some characteristics of the Wikimedia Commons. So we are saying that unlike the traditional um, media repository, Wikipedia Commons is free, which I mean, <laughs> I keep mentioning or I keep saying that Wikimedia Commons is free. It's a free platform. Any photo uploaded on that platform can be used by everyone in the whole world. Okay, like you have, nobody has rights over it. And then everyone is allowed to copy, use, and modify the, the, the file. Okay, I mean, freely modify the file as long as they follow the terms and the specific of the author. Okay, so this often means that creating the source and the authors um, appropriately, you know, because um, when you take a photo, when you take a photo, you take a photo with your phone, that image becomes yours, okay? But even if it's your phone and someone else uses it to take a picture, that picture isn't yours. So you may want to um, acknowledge that person's work. Yeah. Then we are also saying another characteristic is that the, sorry, sorry. The license conditions in each individual media files can be found in their description pages. So you'd want to describe the, the image or the events. Okay, so as you mean, you've gone to um, a woman, you know, a woman um, program and you've taken your photo, you may want to be sure that um, this picture is yours and it's under free license and can be uploaded and described properly because you need to give the name of that image so that somebody can understand that, oh, this picture was actually taken at the Ojoa Festival. Okay, yes. Um, Ruby, would you want to throw more light into this? 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. So talking about so, the license condition, and as much as Wikimedia Commons is free to use, there are various free licenses that the author or whoever owns the picture that is donating on Wikimedia Commons subscribe to. So there is CC0, where the author says that, well, you can use it without attributing me. For some people, when they donate the picture on Wikimedia Commons, they can ask you to attribute them. And then there's also another option that says that, attribute me and share it under the same license. So if the person says CC by it, it means that even if you are sharing it, you have to use the same license. Unlike the first one, which is CC0, you can modify it, you can sell it. You can choose to do whatever that you want, use it for advert, use it for anything without sharing it under the same license. So once you are doing the upload session, which Anita is going to demonstrate to you, you will see the various license options that are available under the open license. And then you would choose the one that is most suitable depending on the contents that you're sharing, okay? Or the, the file that you're sharing. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for that clarity. So moving away from the characteristics and we had just explained one. So we go to the aim of Wikipedia, Wikimedia Commons. Why? I mean, like, why Wikimedia Commons? Okay, so we are saying that um, it's just to provide a media file or repository that makes okay, available public domain and freely licensed educational media contents to all. So everyone, okay, everyone can have access to the photos and the videos and the audios that has been uploaded. That's the whole idea. And um, to act as the common repository for the various projects of the Wikipedia um, Foundation. So, I mean, as we said, Wikimedia, you're writing articles, Wikidata, you're taking data. And Wikicommons is simply for images, okay? Images, videos, audios, so that we can relate it to the articles that are being written, okay? And being edited on the Wikimedia um, platform. It's important, this is very important because you know, sometimes when you're learning, you want to see, you want it to be as practical as possible, okay? You want to be able to relate um, to it. So let's say there's an article on, um, let me use Apna Osei Poku, who is um, currently the, the MD for Absa Bank, for an example, okay? Let's say when she was in school, now she's married. Her name was, um, let's say, Ab Abna Frempo, and an article has been written over her. Maybe you may know her, but because she's changed her name, you can't relate to it. But once you're able to put a picture to the writer, you go like, oh, I actually know this lady. Oh, I know her. She's my daddy's friend's friend or like my grandparents, you know, something of that sort. You're able to relate to these images, the images and the article. Yeah. Um, would, you want, would you want to add on some, add on some examples? examples? Okay, so I think one of, um, in addition to what Anita has said, one thing that is also important for us to provide images on Wikimedia Commons is that it also serves the world information, free educational content, because as Anita Riley said, if somebody creates a content, that content is automatically copyrighted. Okay, people cannot just turn up and use that image without seeking permission and becomes difficult to assess free content that you would use for your presentations and all of that. For instance, you heard about Antarctica, you want to do a research about Antarctica, show pictures of Antarctica. You don't have to travel to Antarctica to do all that photo taken. You can, you can rely on free images that have been shared um, in that on, on Wikimedia Commons about Antarctica, and that can serve 
your presentation that you are doing. Okay, so it's it's also sort of like share and also helps people to get to know about different regions. For instance, um, some people will share about their village, their hometown, pictures, how it looks like. I don't need to go there, but by sharing, donating those pictures, it gives me, you know, idea of how it looks like. And even if I want to do a research about the place, I can rely on those pictures because I know that they are free and nobody's going to sue me or take me to court. So these are some of the benefits. So talking about women, we are talking about sustainability, you know, climate change. The way climate change is happening in um water region will be different from the way it's happening in central region. It's different from the way people are experiencing it in Accra. So having the various pictures of how climate change is being experienced in the Volta region, central region, Accra, uh, Accra region, having this diversity of pictures helps us understand what people are actually going through in terms of climate change. If you talk about gender, I mean, um, there are wonderful women doing amazing work, but we don't even see them. So projecting them through Wikimedia Commons sort of like gives them that global visibility because everything that we put on Wikimedia Commons have the power to give it that global visibility beyond even your country, your continent. Okay, it it goes as far as different continents. So it's it's a very great platform that we can use to amplify um, stories in terms of videos and audios. All right, thank you for the additional information. So Wikipedia is actually a, a very powerful platform. Okay, so let's move on to the next slide. So now I'm going to look at the type of files that can be uploaded on um, Wikimedia Commons, okay? So as you can see on my screen, you see the media files in a form of you know, we are looking at photographs, we're looking at diagrams, we want to see the maps, we want to see videos, audios, you know, as um, has been explained. And uploading free content from, you know, sources from, we're looking at the libraries or archive, Flickr, or Splash, Imigal, Golf. We're looking at platforms where um, you, can, you can get pictures for free, okay? You can get these images for free as well to donate to. Wikimedia Commons. So a question here, how, how you can contribute further to Wiki Commons, okay? So somebody will ask, how can I contribute further to Wiki Commons? What do I need to do? Sorry for the pause. So um, we'll check the license status because you need to be very sure if the pictures you're uploading is under free license or not. Um, we like free license pictures. As we said, Wikipedia is a, Wikipedia is a global platform where um, these images, you know, can be used by everyone in the world. So you would not want to use um, someone's images but you can be sued as well. So you have to check the license status as well. And then um, in organizing the sustained content, you'd want to add maintenance um, templates as well. You want to add categories. So when you upload your picture, you want to categorize it in Ghana, okay? So you may want to add that, you know, you may want to add Ghana to the pictures you've uploaded. If it's images from Ghana, you may want to do that. If it's from an event that um, you've attended and it's on, um, it's named, okay, on Wikipedia, you may want to equally um, add that as well so that anyone searching for an image of Ghana, your picture can also come up for them to tell if that's the picture they want to use, they want to use um, or not. So you create gallery pages, you know, to have an organized page. So um, we're looking at the format in which these pictures or videos should be, because they are specific formats 
for the media files, okay? It's, it doesn't pick in every every format. So for the audio, you may want to look at um, the file that has the MID, Geo, Vobis. You may want to look out for video files with um, OGG. You know, you can see them on the screen, quite a number of them. You may just want to, um, you know, take this information. And for the images as well, I know most of you are familiar with JPEG, G, um, PNG, SVG, GIF, and TIFF, okay, as well. And um, we have the text format as well, Jibu. We have the PDF, which is very common, okay. And the size of the file you're uploading doesn't matter, okay. The size doesn't have any, um, it doesn't affect, you know, what you're doing. So don't really think so much about the size that you want to compress it, you'd want to, you know, make it, you know, shrink the size in any way, just leave it as it is. And the size of the file doesn't affect whatever you're doing. So also there is a link for easy video uploads, okay? So, you know, as I did mention, the format of your video may be in a different format, but this tool can actually help you um, make it easier for your videos to be uploaded on the wiki commons, okay? And it's a very rightful format. We'll be trying that very soon. Um, so at this point, is there, is there any question? Is there any contribution? Is there any clarity that anyone on the call will need? Mm -hmm. All right, so let me continue. Since there are no questions coming, I believe we are all clear with it. So visualizing the gender gap, this, as, as we keep saying that the gender gap is very huge on Wikipedia, everywhere it's very huge. Even on Wiki Commons, there's a huge gap. You may see articles of um, women, maybe about 25% of them do not have, you, but you don't see the the photos, okay, the videos, the audios, you don't see it as well. When you even pick the Wikipedia articles of women as well, less than 20% of them have photos with them. So there's a huge gap. We actually need more photos of women, women to be able to um, align them with the articles that have been written on them. So there's a story or there's a history that tells us that um, Ghana's first female photographer. Okay, so the first photographer in Ghana was um, a female or the, the Ghana's first female photographer bio has no picture. Okay, so Ghana's first female photographer's bio has no picture. I'm sure you would all laugh would have loved to you know, know who um, Felicia Aban was. Being, she being the first female photographer, you know, I would have loved to you know, see her personality, know how she was. But unfortunately, even though she's on Wikipedia, there's no um, photos to her articles. So these are some of the gaps we want to, we want to um, you know, bridge. Would you want to add some additional, addition, additional, additional information to it, Ruby? So um, this is not to say that she, as a photographer, she didn't take a picture of herself. I'm sure some of you will be wondering, like, uh, she's a photographer, so where are her pictures? Okay, so she has pictures, but the pictures are not yet under free license. If you, if you would, if you would, um, know if you don't know yet, if anybody. If any work is under copyright law, it says that it only enters free license domain 70 years after the death of the person. And so it's, it hasn't reached 70 years for all her pictures to enter um, 
public domain. So that means that if the very few pictures that we see even on the Google, they are under copyright. Okay, we can't just use them. And you know, Wikimedia Commons only accepts license uh, photos that are under free license. And so that's the reason why we don't see the picture. So until we find a way of getting these pictures under free license, they can't be on Wikimedia uh, Commons, which is why we are missing her picture here. Because Wikimedia Commons is a big platform. Um, Wikipedia, you all you all know, is a very big platform. But yeah, it would have been nice to have a picture here as well. Thank you for that additional information. Okay, so um, so when you look at we are saying that on um, on Wikimedia Commons, some of the gaps you know that needs to be bridged. We are looking at women. Okay, we are looking at black and brown people, indigenous people disabled folks, working classes, global South African community. There's a huge gap in all these areas and we would want to um, bridge these by providing photos around these to upload on Wiki Commons. So uploading images on Wiki, Wiki Commons, um, we're looking at um, big multimedia library for all Wikipedians, okay? There's going to be a big library where you write your article and you're looking for images to um, add. You just go in there and, I mean, you get what you want. You add to your article to make it a complete article, right? Assuming you are learning and <laughs> they mentioning something very technical that you may not even have too much information on, as we said earlier, these informations help you to understand what has been written, okay. And then we posted over 100 million of um, media files. Okay, it's open and free. Anyone can contribute and use the files posted on um, commons. So what type of images can you add? Photographs taken by yourselves that you release under a free license. So any photos you have taken yourselves, you can actually upload it for free. Okay, and anyone can use it. We continue to say that because um, there are pictures that you know are not under the free um, right license. Okay, so you can't easily have access to to them, like because you own the license and you are sharing it. Okay, you own it and you say that take this for free, Wikimedia. Take Wikimedia Commons. Take this for free. Okay, and we're looking at uh, public domain images, you know, um, like you sit in a bus, you want to take a picture of how the bus looks like. Obviously, buses around the world do not look the same. A bus in the United Kingdom will not be the same as um, a bus in Nigeria. A bus in America is likely not to be the same as a bus in India. So once we have um, all these pictures depicting the type of buses across the world, um, it's also a form of education, okay? We get to know you're able to even tell your story better. And um, storytelling is a very powerful tool. Um, even for a sustainable living, it's a very, very powerful tool that can be used, you know, to demonstrate how um, things are and how things can be done and how things were even in the past. So if you want to improve on anything, that's why history is very important. So you may want to um, take pictures of all these public domain. You may also um, want to have images made available by others under free license. So, um, you know, someone who takes a lot of pictures and the person is really willing to donate those pictures for free. You can upload all those pictures on Wikimedia Commons. You can go to Flickr and then some of the pictures in there, 
uh, for free. The ones that are being paid for, when you even check it, you realize that it has um, a watermark on it. So mm -hmm. until you pay for it, that's mm -hmm. when the picture, um, they take yeah. off the water. But that you can't because it's, you now you own the rights, okay? So you can't upload such images. We want free photos, free pictures, and a free license to donate to Wiki Commons. All right, so we're going to have a very practical session, a very practical session of how to upload um, a picture on Wikimedia Commons. I believe we all have our usernames. Can I see any signs um, that we are ready for a practical session? You can send me reactions, okay? Um, some of the reactions, you know, um, like this. Yes, I see a lot of reactions. Thank you so much for this one. Damn, it's been more than a crowd. So, in the time being, um, kindly go on to your Google and open. Wikimedia Commons. Are we there? I have comfort. Are we there? I have Rafia. Instagram. I'm in your video, man. Hello, Anita, are you not there yet? You're not there yet. So whose who's feedback am I getting? Right, you let let's take it like this. Do you all have your usernames? Okay, and your password. Go to Google, type in Wikimedia Commons and log in. Ruth, can we get any feedback, Beatrice? So let me stop sharing the slides and share my page. Can you see my screen now? Okay, so I'm already, I have already logged on to my Wikimedia Commons, okay? I'm going to upload um, a picture. So when you look to your left, extreme left, you come under the participate, there is an upload file. So you click on that. So once you click on that, this page opens. So you click on select media file to share. So 
So you just go straight to where your pictures or your images are. So I pick this one, I open it. Okay, so it's up, it has uploaded successfully. Okay, so you can choose to add more files. Sorry, did I did I hear someone speaking? Yes, this can you take it again? Okay, where do I take it? Where where, where did you get lost from? I just log in. So go on to Google. Have you logged onto your page now? Yes, I'm there. Okay, Wikimedia Commons, you are there. So log on with your username and your password and your page opens. Are you there? So look to your extreme left. Under the logo, where the Wikimedia Commons logo is. You see a main page, welcome, community portal, village pub. You see the help center, participate, upload file. Are you there? I'm sure we are all getting it, so let's proceed. So once you click on upload file, you select and you could pick where your images are. You just go there, if it's in your download, if you've created a special file for it, you go there and you pick the image. So I have picked one. You can add more files. So I'm adding another file, okay? So let's say I'm adding five images so you go you click on add more files so i pick the second image okay that's what has been added so kindly make sure you're picking images that you've used your phone to you took it yourself you you own the right of it okay you on the right of those images, not images that you go and download from Facebook, LinkedIn, X, Instagram. Okay. So if you are following, you can send reactions so I know that you're following. Um, I've added four images so far. I'm going to add another one. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can add as, as many as you want. Okay. So, I have uploaded five images. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. I want to continue to the next step. So then you scroll down a bit and you see continue. So you click continue. So once you click continue, um, there's a question here you need to um, pick what's best suited. So we're asking that, we ask for this information to make sure everyone is allowed to freely use the files uploaded to Commons, okay? So now we are being asked, these are my own works and anyone is free to use them. These are someone else's work and are free to share. Provide copyright information for each file individually on the next page. So for the pictures or the images that I have uploaded, it's for um, the organization that is um, Women for Sustainability Africa. They are not mine. Okay, so I'll pick that these are someone else's work and are free to share. Okay, then there's another one that comes down here. The license um, session, okay, the Creative Commons license, which, yeah, has been explained, but we'll have 
a session on it again. Um, mm. So we are saying that, okay, not all Creative Commons licenses are good for this, this site, okay, because if you do not have the rights to it, then um, we can't obviously use it. And there are various type of licenses, even under the free or the Creative Commons license, okay. Okay, so Ruby, would you want to add to it under the Creative Commons or Jesse? Jesse, if you're online. Okay, so with regarding the uh, Creative Commons license, and this license, if you see, it has different versions, okay? This is Creative Commons share like, but it comes in different versions, and each of the version has a a reason okay so if you choose creative commons attribution share like 4.0 it's it just say that it just says that you can distribute whatever work that you have taken or the your picture that you have uploaded anybody can use it but then they can share it under the same license if you look up uh, at version 3.0 it says that if you use it, give appropriate credit and distribute it under the same lenses. Okay. And then if you look at version uh, 4.20, it also has um, a particular, but it's also like the same share alike. Okay. So if you look at because Anita, you chose um someone's own work, someone's work. We are not sure. So these are the options, but choose it's my own work and let's see the options that also comes up. Okay. Okay, so if you look at your own work, if it's your own work, you see that it's also telling you that you can give a CC zero waiver which means that anybody can use it any way that they want. They can sell it, they can choose to share it under a different licenses. So because you are the owner of the work, you are the only person who can determine if that thing should be a CC zero waiver. But if you're sharing someone's work, they can ask you that question, okay? Or you can still share alike. You can share it under this license where people share it and give you credit okay so with this second session 4.0 um share like it's sort of like allows people to use it any way they want but the most important thing is that they give you credits and when you look at this other version it says um share but then they should distribute it under the same license which means that Anything that you share, anybody who is resharing should reshare under CC share alike 4.0. So that is the same thing. So in this way, people cannot really modify the work. You know, sometimes when we pick pictures from uh, Wikimedia Commons, we want to edit the picture. You want to make it black and white. You want to, you know, modify it a bit. But when you choose the last one, you like whatever that you use it for, Make sure that it's under share alike. You can't even uh you can't even sell it using for commercial because some people use it for TV adverts to advertise their products and all of that, but you can use it. Okay, so it all depends. And also know that it's much more easier when you are sharing the work of an organization than when you are sharing the work of an individual. So for instance, if there, there's a particular individual that owns the work. You know, even if you click share um, someone's, someone's work, it's going to ask you for the source. If you don't have any link or anything to show that the image is coming from this place, the person needs to send an email stating that, that they have given you the right to upload the pictures on their behalf. And that email goes to Wikimedia Commons email. So that takes a different route, okay? So the most direct one is when you have your own work and you are sharing it. And that's the best 
um, to avoid any complication. And also, if you are linked to a particular organization, for instance, you work with an organization, like Anita works with W for S Africa, she can share it, you know, on behalf of her organization, because organization is like who? The people there. So <laughs> the people they have their own names. So that's basically what she's doing. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for that add-on. So let's move on to our practical. Let's continue with our practicals. So on my screen, so let's go back to, um, we pick these are someone else's work and are free to share, okay? So these are the works of um, W4S Africa. And we are saying that they are free to share, okay? So I click on that, then, um, I come under the license. Okay, sure. So we are choosing, uh, we're going for the Creative Common Attribution Share Like 4.0. Okay. I think Ruby has explained that already. So you scroll down to next. Sorry, Lisa, where did you, let's continue this. Lisa, where did you find this media? Enter the website or the book of another person. And then um, let's on. Hi. Yeah, so um, Anita, um, this one will be kind of very difficult. I think the best for, option for you to take, like, uh, my own these are way. my own ways. Okay. Otherwise, you get a lot of so you can go back and select uh, uh, there will be a lot of options for you so this amount. okay yeah i think i can understand jesse because most of the pictures you will be uploading are your own works actually okay yeah so yeah. um if you because these are your own works probably you would want it to go out for like anyone can use anyone that gets access to it can use it for free so you can either choose the CC zero, or if it if you want it to come under the um, license that you know maybe probably the the image that you are sharing is in the public maybe probably if you've attached certain things to it so. When it goes out, um, like they can attribute those kind of ways to you, like they can remix, they can do a lot of stuff to it, but they, sh they should give you attribution, right? They can also make changes and errors, but they should give you attribution. But the last one, which is Creative Commons attribution share like mean that like maybe you meet some, you know, they can they can um, um, remake it, do everything to it, but probably you've put in a tag there, you've put in a tag there and want that tag to be there. So like when they are sharing it, they should share it with that tag. Probably you, you want that like that tag to be there, that this is your work. Probably you've put in your signature, that, that your signature should be there. So the person who wants to, to use this kind of image can you know um like use use the image anyhow but to share the image with your with your signature they can be Okay, so I think we've lost um, Jesse. So let's go back. So now we are choosing uh, these are my own works to make it very easy for you as well to upload. Um, so we choose this, then we go to um, Creative Commons Attribution 4.0. So we go to the next. And uh, yeah. So if you can still see my screen, see. 
so even though we have the pictures um, uploaded, we've got some few lines to complete. Okay, so let me take the first one and it's the same for all. Okay, so this is the file name. You may want to change it. Okay, we are typing in English. She says I add a caption. So the caption is more like um, what do you want to say about this picture? Okay, and this training was about Wiki Woman in Red. So I'll type Wiki Woman in Red. All right, and um, so you can do Wiki Woman in Red Bootcamp. Okay. I've, I've muted sorry yeah so the file name we may we want to change it okay it's just not working okay so let's name it let's say woman Hmm. I'm typing wiki woman in red. Okay. Let's camp. So I maintain the same for my caption and the description as well. It was a book camp, so let me just paste it. Okay. Okay, so Wiki Woman in Red Boot Camp held held on the what was the date? On the twenty fifth of November. 2004 in Accra, okay, Accra, Ghana, Accra, Ghana, okay, so that will be the description, so as you mean you have picked, um, your picture is maybe the streets of Accra, you may want to talk a little bit about it, is it the high streets of Accra, I mean, you just give a little description, like what I've done here, and you move on, Okay, so um, which category do we have this? I think I, I did mention it earlier. So this is an, under the category of um, women for sustainability. So women for W4S. Okay, so it's under the category for W4S Africa wiki woman in red and um it's a woman's agenda right so i'll pick woman and it was held right here in accra ghana or right here in ghana so i'll add ghana so anytime anyone is looking for images on women okay those images will pop up any picture for w4s africa women for sustainability africa it will pop up and any image in ghana does work up as well. So it's going to be the same for the other videos. So assuming my other pictures, because um, they were all taking under the same program. So assuming your image is different, you kindly name them accordingly. Hello. Okay. Jesse, are you back? Yeah, yeah, I'm back. Yeah, so, um, okay. so for us, we have a lot of images here. And uh, most of the information that we are going to provide are generic that's like they are the same there wouldn't be us there wouldn't be the need for us to go and write everything again 
you get it. So what you need to do is I need to can you scroll down a bit? Yeah, can you scroll down a bit? Then hold on, hold on here, hold on here, yeah. Then go to you could see there is a, a, a tab there with a drop that's copy information to all uploads. So click on that. Yeah. Yeah, so you could see that um all the information that we are having above uh within this piece. So can you click on um copy date? Because the date has to appear, so you need to check check it, copy date here. Yeah, so when you are done. And you can also add, if you want to add a location, that's fine, but that's not really relevant. But if you want to add, then you, you click on um, copy. Click on copy. So this will copy all the information here yeah, because they are generic. Because the same thing, it will copy so that there will be no need for you to go and do everything one by one. And the images are a lot. So this is how you do it when you have um, a lot of images, to the, a lot of images that are generic or that are the same. Over to you, Anita. All right, thanks, Jesse. So once we do that, we scroll. Now, just to, we may just want to review to see if everything is um, as preferred. Okay. So I just scroll down and I think we are good to go here. All right, so, and it asks you to publish file. So we click on it. Okay, so, so this is, okay, so now we go to the next stage. So now our pictures have been uploaded successfully. Okay. So this section actually yeah, sure. asks you to um, sort of like add structured information from Wikidata. This allows the images that you're uploading to be easily searched for. Okay. So it just, you just put some one or two statements. It says what, what items are portrayed in this world. As you can see, we mostly see women portrayed in this picture so we can put women you know we can add more statements that's if you have more time to be, you know, sort of like make it more structured you can add more but it's, it's okay so we can copy the same statements this is all women portrayed in all the pictures we copy statements to all files so what we are saying is that women are portrayed in all the pictures that have been um shown so then we publish data for all files. That's the final step. So once we are done with this, um, you click on publish data for all files. Jesse, I think you wanted to say something too. Yeah, Ruby has hit on it, so there's no need for me to talk. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So now you hear you. I say that thank you for uploading. Okay, so thank you for uploading. We've uploaded all these images too. And if you want to upload more, you just click upload more files and keep you keep uploading your beautiful images. So at this point, um, who has been able to do upload an image successfully? You can easily do this on your phone because I believe your phone has most of your pictures on there. All you need to do is to make sure you've logged on to Wikimedia Commons with your username and password. Then you start uploading. You know, you go to upload files and you start uploading and just follow through the process. Anyone has anyone been able to do this successfully? Hello. Hello. 
Hello. So, um, just to add to all that we are learning, um, sometimes getting images of notable people, women, can be difficult. And so, opportunities that allows us to take um, these kind of pictures or meet these kind of people is very important. For instance, the recent COPS 28, where we're going to meet a lot of women in the field of sustainability. This is a great opportunity to sort of like, if you have the opportunity to attend such events, capture women, people, notable people in that space doing amazing work, their images, if they are comfortable, because I know most of these people are on the media trying to use social media to push themselves. And so Wikimedia platform is that one place that they can also look at, okay, in terms of sharing images. And then these are opportunities where as Wikimedians, people who are passionate about knowledge sharing can take the opportunity to capture images of these people and share on Wikimedia Commons. We can look at um, music concerts. We are talking about, let's say, the Ghana music industry. You don't meet Shatawale on a normal day. You don't meet Stoboy on a normal day. You don't meet even um, the gospel musicians, the Islamic musicians. You don't meet them on a normal day. We don't even know where they are, where they live. But then it is during such events, such moments, that we can be able to capture their images and donate. So these are also opportunities. So as you're going about your daily activities, have that consciousness that you could capture some of these images and donate them. Somebody will use it and thank you and attribute you. I mean, this is, it is a way of donation. So donation is not just including and in cash and in kinds. You can donate knowledge to the world as a way of giving, you know, yeah. To, to to help others who need it for their educational purposes as well. Mm, thank you for that addition. So it doesn't mean that if you have to, you, it's only cop that you can get uh, pictures of women. Sometimes even in your churches, there are notable women there at events. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I mean, at events, we, we just seize the opportunity to take pictures of, of women and we upload because that's what we have now, okay? Um, so thank you very much for that, Dishé. Can I hear from anyone? Have you been able to upload the picture successfully? Um, I'm being very mindful of the time. Wiki Media Commons is very easy and I mean, very easy to do. I think it is one of the easiest um, you can just do. Jesse, do you have do you have anything do you, do you want to add on as well? Do you have anything to share, anything to say as we wrap up? Yeah, okay. So um actually I don't have anything in mind though, but yeah. <laughs> Um, I think with with uploading of images is one of the core things within the um, Wikimedia ecosystem. Um, trying to upload an image, you know, you just you just not just not need to kind of upload any form of image. You know, the image that you are uploading need not to be copyrighted. I think Ruby said that earlier on. It needs it needs not to be copyrighted but it needs to be um, an image that either belongs to you or probably the copyright holder has um, given it to you for you to use. And it, it, should, it should ensure that it all are under the Creative Commons license that is provided by um, Wikimedia Commons. As you also said that um, Wikimedia Commons is like the simplest um, tool to use to upload um, images. But mind you, you need to also to be careful concerning the kind of images you upload and also how you, you, you label or you name your images when made available on Wikimedia Commons because it's very important. This, this, is, this, this um, um, space concerning image 
um, um, it ensures that it ensures that whenever you know when anyone search for any kind of image, the person can access it free, and also can use it without asking for permission. That is why um, Wikimedia Commons are keen on like the free aspect of it because they don't they, they don't want to be sued by any form. So in case you you know you go and take any image from um, Google, Facebook. YouTube, any any image or not only image because we are talking about audio files and um, audiovisual items. If you if you make those images available, it will surely be detected and pulled down because uh, Multimedia Commons don't want to be sued by um, a, a copyright holder. That's why we are you are keen on informing you that ensure that the image is free and you can make that available on Wikimedia Commons. But mind you, the I could see that the the Wikimedia Commons tool has changed because um, there the, the, are a variety of options now as compared to first that you just need to only upload the image and just select one or two options, whether um, um, the image belongs to you or not. But right now they have provided certain um, licenses in addition, like the licenses are there and they are giving you a variety of options to select from which is also something good. I think I just saw this new advancement and I, I'm, I'm also learning around that to ensure that yeah, um, we get, you can get good knowledge from whatever, um, wh wherever you seek it from. So I think, yeah, I think um, it's the easiest platform. Just take advantage of it and make sure that you upload good image. You can also use those image for the, any works that you want to use, share it among your friends and let your friends also use Wikimedia Commons platform. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Jesse, and thank you all very much for joining in today's training. The recordings will be made available so that you would want to take your time and follow through the process, but um, this is very simple, and I hope and I want all of us to um, support this campaign. Let's do this, let's contribute, and let's make an impact in driving sustainability. Okay, so um, I'll say thank you to all, to all of you once again. Do I have a message? Okay, there's no message. Hmm? And also, uh, kindly make sure you, you have your username registered on the dashboard as well. We'll be sharing the link on the WhatsApp page. So kindly um, make sure your username is on the dashboard so that anything you do is, is being recorded. Okay. All right. So thank you all very much. And do enjoy the rest of the day. Bye bye. Bye.